Welcome to Tales from SYL Ranch, the BitChute channel where everyone is entitled to my opinion. And I'm Bill Stone. While I have your attention, I'd like to ask that if you like what I'm doing, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, share me on social media, and tell all of your friends, family, neighbors, pets, and livestock to do the same. I would appreciate your support via my PayPal tip jar, my subscribe star, my merch stores on Teespring, or a place on my website where you can support me further. And there are links to all of these in my description box. Oh, God. I just sat through another day of impeachment hearings. What a colossal waste of time. Please, Mitch McConnell, please make it end. In fact, I'm going to tell you at the end of this video exactly how you can make it end simply and easily. See, please, somebody, somebody tell Mitch McConnell, have him, have him watch my video because I'm forced to watch these stultifyingly boring hearings because I'm a political commentator, but please, God, make it stop. So here I am again, a libertarian, in the position of having to defend President Trump. I am not a Trump supporter. I, as a libertarian, I would neither vote for a Democrat nor a Republican if you held a gun to my head. But unfortunately, the left and the Democrats in Congress have lost their capacity for rational thought. Having watched the impeachment hearings for the last two days, I am struck by the fact that none of it is from people who've testified to having first-hand knowledge of much of anything. It's all, well, I heard it from a friend who heard it from a friend who heard it from the president, or I heard it from a friend who heard it from a friend who heard it from Ukraine. If this were being held in a court of law, any attorney could get 99% of the testimony thrown out simply by saying, objection, your honor, it calls for a conclusion by the witness, or objection, your honor, hearsay, even allowing for all the amazing hearsay and the, oh man, that have been incredibly and stultifyingly boring, particularly today with former ambassador to Ukraine, uh, Marie Yovanovitch. Here is the only thing that the Yovanovitch hearings gave more detail to. The president smeared her. That's it. This, by the way, is the one thing that I can disagree with Trump about in all this. He can appoint anybody he likes to be ambassador of any nation. All that has to happen is for the Senate to approve, and this is always just a rubber stamp. So it was never necessary to smear Yovanovitch, neither before nor after she was ambassador. But that's it. I mean, that's all he did wrong. And while it's sleazy and not far off from his modus operandi, it isn't illegal. I mean, it's certainly no sleazier than when Bill and Hillary spent nine months smearing an intern who blew Bill. I mean, it sucks, but this is sometimes how government works today. It's why I run screaming away from anything associated with government except to be a commentator. There's just nothing here. There was no quid pro quo for the simple reason that the Ukrainians were never aware of any such quid pro quo. They said to themselves, all the witnesses have said so when you strip away all of the hearsay. See, quid pro quo is when you say, if you do this for me, I'll do this for you. In order for quid pro quo to happen, both parties must be aware of the deal. When one is aware and you claim the other one was, you have no quid pro quo. It's just that simple. None of this, by the way, really touches the real scandal. Because the phone call that President Trump had with the Ukraine president isn't the beginning of the scandal. It's only the latest in a very long line of chain of events. And frankly, it's not an entirely unethical thing to have said. Now, I have personally researched this myself. And it has been also researched by a friend of mine independently, somebody I know is, not, is very highly analytical and not prone to any level of exaggeration. His research was then largely confirmed by another news and opinion source. Now, I consequently believe that the entire scandal, as researched by myself, my friend, and this third source, they were researched independently and came to largely the same conclusions. 
The Ukraine scandal has nothing to do with President Trump. It is actually an act of collusion between the Democratic National Committee, Americans both in and out of government, and Ukrainian nationals both in and out of government. And their explicit goal was to influence the 2016 election in order to sway voters away from Trump and toward Hillary Clinton. Now the problem is, I can't even explain this to you. It involves an extremely complex series of events and actors. I have simply tried to come to a think of some way I can explain this simply in 12 minute bites, but I just can't, it can't be done. Now fortunately, somebody else has done it and released it as a video on YouTube and that someone is Glenn Beck. Now I know that if you follow Glenn Black, he largely discredited himself by making the 2016 election into a referendum on God. I myself used to listen to his radio program, but I became turned off when he did that. No election is a referendum on God. It is nothing more and nothing less than a popularity contest. It's two or more individuals trying to get as many of your votes as possible in the exact same manner as did your class president in high school. So when Glenn Beck attempted to make the 2016 election about God, a lot of people turned him off. And in fact, most of the successful at that point media empire that he was attempting to build pretty much crashed and burned. Now he's considered something of a crank, a conspiracy nut that's derided more often than he's lauded. However, in this case, he and his staff seem to have gotten it right. I have consequently got a link in my description box for his explanatory video, including the timestamp where the relevant portion begins. Now, don't pay much attention to Beck's comparison of the scandal to an episode of Columbo. That's just his hook to get attention, and frankly, I don't know why he did it. Unless you're my age or maybe a little older, you don't even know who Columbo was. But that is just his hook, its way of dragging you in, and just instead pay attention to all the blackboards and everything he lays out. Now, I'll warn you in advance. This thing is complex. It's why I can't explain it on the show just talking about it in 12-minute segments. Beck uses two entire blackboards for the explanation, as well as many pictures of the various actors and where they come into play. It is long. It may be hard to follow. If you need to, stop the video and back it up so that you can keep it straight in your mind. And if I ever figure out a way to present this on Tales from SYL Ranch, it'll be one of my only videos that is very heavily edited, and it will be done in direct uh, partnership with my friend and probably at least one other friend of his. The Ukraine scandal is massive, wild, and exposes the Democratic Party doing exactly what they accuse Trump of doing with Russia. If I'm correct, and it is right, it will utterly destroy the Democratic Party. Some of the higher-ups in the DNC will be in prison. It will mar the entire party for at least a generation, just as President Nixon did to the Republicans. His actions still reverberate to this day. It's why Democrats have such success, making Republicans look bad, even if they don't deserve it. The scandal may completely destroy the Democratic Party. It might well be that they become a complete non-entity. And because of this, well, Republicans want... If the Republicans, if you guys, here's where I'd... Tell Mitch this, please. If you guys want it to go away, quickly, Mitch McConnell should announce accepting the articles of impeachment and holding a trial in the Senate in a way that was suggested by that same old friend of mine who has independently researched this. Here is what Mitch McConnell should say. Tell him this in these exact words. Mitch, here's, here's what you say if you want this to just go away. Quote, of course, we in the Senate will d not dismiss these impeachment charges out of hand. We will do our sacred constitutional duty to investigate every single input to the situation going back as far as we need to go. We will call every witness we can find that w can se shed some factual light on the situation. Now, it may take a while to complete, but it is our duty to take this very, very seriously. And if Trump is indeed guilty of impeachable offense, we will kick his ass out of Congress." End quote. Now, what the Democrats will hear, because of what the real scandal is, they will hear this. Uh-oh, many of our presidential candidates will be pretty much shut out of the 2020 race. Not only that, they'll find the connections that have been hidden that we don't want to see come to light. Oh, and the fa those facts coming out may just cripple our party for the next 50 years, worse than Watergate. So, for the sake 
of my sanity at least, and possibly everyone else's sanity. Do it, Senator McConnell, and end this ridiculous and generally boring charade once and for all. <sighs> and that's all I've got to say about that. I would love to keep the conversation going, so please leave your comments, questions, and nasty remarks, and I'll do my best to respond to you. So, thanks for watching. That's all the time that we have today for this episode of the highly acclaimed, world-renowned Tales from SYO Ranch, the Bitchu channel, where everyone is entitled to my opinion. And I'm Bill Stone. Ultimate power in this world has always been one simple thing the control and manipulation of minds.